Hello, my name is Milos from Serp API, and today we are going to talk about our eBay search results API. So first, let's go through our documentation and list of supported parameters. First, we have a search query parameter. And here you can use any string that you would normally use in a regular eBay search. Next, we have eBay domain, which defaults to the eBay.com. Then we have pagination group, and first parameter is used to choose a page. So number one defaults to the first page, number two second, and so on. Next one is used for maximum number of results to return. 25, 50, 100, or 200 results. Next parameter is part of advanced filters. It is used for autocorrection and spelling. Then, in the group of advanced eBay parameters, they are used for setting lowest and highest price. For SERP API parameters, we have engine, which is a required field, and you need to set it to eBay. Next, we have no cache parameter, which will force SERP API to fetch fresh eBay results. Async is used for async requests, so you can get your searches later. API key is your private key to use, and output can be either in HTML or JSON. And that was an overview of our parameters. So let's now go to the playground and see how to use it. We are now on the playground for our eBay search API. And here you can see results for the search query coffee. On the left side, you can see the HTML output. And on the right side, the JSON equivalent. These results right here are the main organic results. And you can see that we are extracting them. Also, we are extracting related searches, which are located on the top of the page. Let's now look at one of the organic results. First one, we have Starbucks French Roast Coffee. And you can see it's a sponsored product. We also extract link, condition, rating and reviews, price, which can have raw and extracted values, shipping, and all the other info that you can see on the page. Let's try some of the parameters now, like price, for example. Let's set the low price of 10 and the high one 20 and hit the search button. Now we should get the results in the price range between 10 and 20. And as you can see, we got just that. To retrieve these results, you can use one of our many libraries that we support. For example, let's first try curl. Just copy the code that is provided on the playground and paste it in your terminal. As you can see, we retrieved all the results of the page in the JSON format. Let's use one of the other libraries, like Ruby for example. To use the Ruby library, you just need to install the gem first, which is located here, and then copy the code, create new file, paste the code, and let's now try and print the first result, for example. So, p hash results organic results and let's grab the first one. When we do that, let's just and as you can see we are grabbing Nescafe. So let's see if that is the first file. Yes. That was an overview of our eBay search engine API. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.